What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are not going to be in the workshop. We are going to be talking Koopa. All right, before we get this video started, I'm going to talk... What's up, dude? We're going to talk about three things first. Number one, before we get this video started, I want to make clear... Sorry for jumpy over here. He is um, really excited. My name is... Come on, come up here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Look at that big boy. So, all right, let's talk about uh, three things first. Number one, Koopa is gonna be okay. I know I put in a title, is he gonna be okay? He's absolutely gonna be totally fine. Uh, we're gonna get his situation worked out. But, um, stop. Koopa's gonna be totally just fine. He is gonna be okay. Number two, I am not a vet. I am not a doctor. I am just a guy that knows what uh, he knows because of the vet telling me what is going on. Let's see if we can... Hold on. <laughs> this is what they do, guys. This is what they do. So, evidently, Great Danes, Basset Hounds, Boxers, Boston Terriers, which Mario is a Boston Terrier as well, Bulldogs, Pit Bulls, dogs like that. They have the tendency to have this really, when dogs that basically have cute droopy eyes, you know, like this, when their face starts to drop, they have a third eyelid. And from what I was told, because he has this eye infection that we weren't sure what happened on Saturday. He started to get this really pink drop under his eye. It's going to be very difficult for me to show you him right now. He does not sit still. He's a very active puppy dog. Koopa. See, he, he just, he will not sit still. So what I'll do is maybe right about here or here, uh, maybe right here, I will post a picture that I was able to get a good picture of what it looked like on Saturday. He had this big pink thing underneath his eye, and I was really nervous. I didn't know what happened. I didn't know if he had an infection, if he scratched his eye or what, but a lot of people were talking about cherry eye. We're not sure yet if he has that. So what happened was the doctor bill cost us about 106, no, 130, 139 bucks for this doctor bill. What they went ahead and did was they charged me $69 for the vet bill, so you can expect that if you're fixing on. <laughs> All right, so the doctor bill was 139 bucks. They charged me $69 for the office visit, and then they charged me $40 to do a, what they call staining the eye. It's a green stain that they put in the eye. What that does is if there is a scratch in the eye that stain, will go into that crack. And when they put an ultraviolet light over the eye, it will glow. That scratch will glow. And then they would have just prescribed an antibiotic, nothing else, just an antibiotic, not an antibiotic slash steroid. Well, when they did that, he did not have any scratches. He was completely clean, no scratches, no abrasions on the surface of the eye. So they ended up prescribing him an antibiotic slash steroid. If it's a scratch, this ant the steroid will slow down the healing process. So you don't wanna get the wrong thing. So, but he didn't have any scratches. So we did the antibiotic slash steroid and it seems to be actually working okay. Now here's the kicker. If after a few days, maybe a week or so, that if that pinkness and that kind of third eyelid area in the corner, <laughs> does not go away, then we are probably pretty sure that he has what they call cherry eye. And that is where the ligament inside, again, I'm not a vet. I just know exactly. He was, my doctor was awesome. He was very thorough. He explained this whole thing to me and I understood it to the T. So I'm trying to relay that information to you. Again, if you're having any issues, go see your doctor right away. Make sure your vet, make sure your pup, go see your doctor. Um, make sure you, this is only informational that if you don't know that maybe if you have this happen, you know, you kind of have an, an idea that it's not the end of the world. If it's cherry eye, he's going to have to have surgery. Basically what they'll do supposedly is the ophthalmologist will pull down the eyelid right in the bottom corner. Come here, bud. Right in the bottom corner. 
down here, see there's no way I'll ever show you. They will just suture inside and pull that third eyelid down and the suture goes away after a while and that is about it. What you doing? So yeah, that's what's going on with him. Come here, buddy. Come here, sit down, sit. Let me see if I can get a shot. Look right there, Urgh. I like to, he does not let me hold him still. He's 120 pounds of pure beef. He is awesome. Give me that thing, give me that thing. He is doing really good, otherwise he's healthy. I think it's going down. I don't think he has cherry eye. I think it's gonna go away. I think it's gonna go away. I don't think he has cherry eye. I think it's something where he probably was outside playing. He goes our yard, it's been raining a lot. He runs around, he, you know, I think he might have maybe got some dirt in it. He doesn't go in the woods or anything, so. Yeah, come here, Koopa. Come here, people wanna see you. They wanna see how you're doing. They wanna see you growing. So, he's always got his toy. He's always got his toy. Let's see if I can see his eye. Come here. Ugh. Come here, come here. But yeah, it seems like it's kind of going down. It's almost, let's see. Ah, oh, he bit me. Oh, he bit me. There he is. There he is. And there's Mario. What's up, buddy? Ow! <laughs> there he is. Yeah, that's it. This is just what they do. They play with each other. They have a good time. They create havoc. If your dog, you know, has this ever happened to them, just be mindful that it's not really the end of the world. It, it's, it looks kind of bad. Unfortunately, it's another expense. You know, if you plan on getting a Great Dane or any of one of those type of dogs, a Basset Hound, Pitbull, Boxer, for sure, look it up. You'll see what it looks like. If that eyelid just keeps going up and up and up and up, it looks like a cherry. If you plan on getting one of these dogs, just remember that these are just one of the expenses that you could incur. And I highly recommend you consider that. You know, make sure that you can afford it. But, uh, you know, he's awesome. I wouldn't, uh, you know, definitely trade him for the world. And he's definitely worth every bit. Let me see if I can turn the camera around. I don't know if I can while they're fighting. It's hard to see, but uh, they did say that it wasn't extremely common, but it's but the doctor knew about it right away. That was actually one of the third options. So it was either a, a, an abrasion on his eye an infection down in the uh, conjunctiva, I think is what it was called. It's down below here, which caused that redness swelling or cherry eye. So what we'll do is maybe in a couple weeks, we'll come back, we'll do an update and we'll see how he's doing. But um, yeah, Koopa's doing good. Otherwise he's loving life. But uh, yeah. All right, everybody, that is it. That is the video. Hope you liked it. We'll see you back. What we'll do is we're gonna get back to our regular <laughs> craftsman stuff, but I wanted to do an update on Koopa and let everybody know how he's doing. He's growing like a weed. He's, a, like I said, he's 120 pounds. All right, everybody, till the next video. See you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to go down to this. Don't forget to go down to the store. You're not gonna let me finish? Go down to the store and check out our new merch shop. There's some pretty awesome stuff there. And soon we're gonna be having some Koopa merchandise and Mario merchandise. So, all right, everybody. Thanks again. See you in the next video. Bye.